for video. So it looks like we now have the release of Goldhen version to point for B18.4, which now adds official support for firmwares 12.0 and 12.02 so we can now jailbreak on 12.0 to 12.0 to use previously Golden we've had to use the open source versions of hen from echo stretch and all as of which they've been updated which is still a great solution and it works pretty well but if well. you want all of the extra features that are built into Goldhen, you can now access it on 12.0 and 12.02 so this coming to us from sistro here who says hi all the beta is out sorry for the wait but i was very this busy release these is weeks. just be 18.3 with 12.0 next and release will add new features to yet in testing and new firmware support thanks to my friends ct and and chameleon for their not only tech support. thanks also to everyone who supported my project on kofi so change log you can see here we have 12.0 and 12.0 So it is just support. version 18.3 The previous version of Gold 10 There aren't going to be any new features in this Apart build Apart from the fact that it now supports these higher firmwares 12.0 and 12.02 It does look like there is a bigger update in the works You though. can see here next release will add new features Which are in testing and new firmware support We also got a little bit more from Chameleon on this who says Goldhen is still Progress working? Progress for 11.0 to just a little busy. On the other hand, I recall someone announced a semi-persistent way to enable the jailbreak. Based on our investigation, it seems to be related with some parsing stuff on XML and yes, can be used with WebKit. So that would suggest that they're looking into the semi-persistence. Which is something that all Asaf talked about back in September of last year. Which is you know like the idea of being able continue to continue to use the jailbreak after a reboot without having to completely reload it again from scratch. However, it has not yet been released. And yet. allies have did say it may be a long time before it gets released. So that released. is something that it looks like the Gold Hand team. Chameleon CTN. Sistro perhaps are looking into here and maybe for the next release. Who knows, we'll have to wait and see. So them. that is the latest information there. So let's go ahead and take a look at how Up we can and get running on our 12.0 console here or 12.0 console. So of course you can support Sistro by leaving a donation. I would recommend doing that, of course, to help support Sistro's Show work. Show that you care and then that will maybe provide more motivation for Sistro to continue to release for gold these updates. You are not required to pay to get the download. You can just free. enter zero as the amount and click now get. in order to get the download. A Google Chrome did mark it as a dangerous When I tried file. to download so it, I did have to go into the, the download section, the download manager and tell it to download it anyway. So as you can see here, we have got our USB drive. So you want to grab yourself a USB drive. That's formatted drive. in SFAD format. And then if we go into that USB we'll open drive up here. the 7-zip file. So it is a 7-zip. So you'll need 7-zip or WinRAR to open uh, the file itself. So I'll leave a link to that down in the video description. But basically, you can see we've got We don't it need here. the pp-pawn stage to loader because we're, of course, using uh, the new jailbreak here. So we just need to grab the goldhand.bin file. Copy it to the root of our USB. And then we need to rename this to payload.bin. Assuming you're using the auto loader to load, this also makes sure. You go to view in the settings here and go to show file name extensions. Make sure that is ticked so that you can see the full file name and make sure it is payload.bin. So we're gonna go ahead and just call it payload. And keep it on the root of our USB. And then we'll just go ahead and eject our USB drive. And plug it into our PS4. So I've got the auto loader set up with my Lua game. So it will automatically try and load the payload from the so USB. Previously. I was loading the Hen VTX or the open source versions of Hen. So that is the one that is on the hard drive. But what it should do is load the one from the USB. And also copy that to the data folder on the hard drive. So the previous version of Hen I was using. That was in the data will folder. Will get replaced with the new gold. Hen payload that we put on the USB drive. If you don't already have the auto loader I set up. I do have a tutorial that already shows how Save to get file that. on there. So so that you can use it to load the jailbreak. Obviously, I have a more complete beginner's guide coming out fairly soon. So all we need to do is run our game with the auto loader. And we should get it running. Gold hand here, so let's see what happens. So we get our PS for auto Lua loader for 12.02. Payload gets copied and we can see gold 10 is By already the icon running. in the top left hand corner. And there it is gold 10 version to point for B18.4 is loaded. We've got the bin loader loading as well. The FTP server will likely.
Okay, I don't have FTP server enabled. But if enabled. we head into our server settings, I can enable that as well and get FTP running. And as you can see, we have our full gold hen now running on 12.02. We've got our debug settings with our package installed. All of the options in here. Our cheat settings. We can enable, of course, our show title ID labels for our games. The ability to download the latest cheats. All of that good stuff is our in there. Our plugin settings. We can enable the game patch plugin and the plugins loader. But everything is in here. Clog server our settings option. We don't need to use the Poe patch. Cause that again is only for the pwn exploit. But we've got our rest mode support in there as well. So there you go. As you can see, we have gold 10 up we and running. We should be able to load our homebrew application. Let's try and run the Apollo save tool. And we can see that is also running. So we've got our homebrew running through it and our fake Of packages. course we can run. So we are all good to go here. And if we head into our settings system system information, you can see we have hen on 12.02. So gold hen successfully working there on the latest jailbreakable firmware. This will work again on 12.0 to 12.02. So what of course, if you are on a firmware like 11DOTO to 11DOTO 11.50 to right now, well, you have a couple of One options. One option, of course, is that you can just update your console to 12.0 or 12.02. All you need to do is head to one of the following websites. Either this one here, or you can go to uh, this one. So either one of these websites, there's a few other ones you can to go download to. download previous firmware versions, you just download the retail firmware for 12.02 and you put it on your USB drive. Simply create a PS for folder and then inside that folder you create an and update And inside folder. that folder you copy the update file inside. And make sure it's named PS for updates.pu. P in uppercase characters. And that all of the characters for the folder names are all uppercase. And you should be good you can plug that into your console. You can go to the system software update Make section. Make sure you have disconnected from the internet before doing so. And then when you go to the system software update you'll section, you'll have the option to update to 12.0 to from your USB and drive. And you can do that so that's one option. Personally, I would not recommend updating to 12.0 just to access gold hand right now. If you're on 11DOT O to T O 11DOT 5 Mainly because we don't know if we might get some kind of future WebKit exploit that would allow us to load the jailbreak from the web browser. And if that does come out in the future, we don't know what firmware that might come out for. So we could get a new web browser based version of the exploit that works up to 11.50 just hypothetically. And then if you'd if you'd already updated to 12.02, then unfortunately you wouldn't be able to take advantage of that. You have missed out on the ability to be able to load from the, the web browser because you updated to 12.02. So for that reason it's best not to Especially update. Especially since 12.0 actually has an update note They that made says, some security fixes to the system software in 12.02. So there could be something that got patched there. UH, that's a you probably don't want to update to 12.02. If you're on 11 dot o to t o one one you're better off just staying on your current firmware. You see open source versions of Han from Alice of an Echo Which are being constantly updated. They recently had things like FTP server plug in support. AK log server recently included. There's also going to be a new UI shell. plug in that's been added to the open source versions of Han. Which will give you all of these additional like options. Like a package installer to install packages from the hard drive as well as from the USB as well as all the options to enable and disable like a firmware things. update blocker a certain patches that you can enable and disable target ID spoofing, UH disabling ASLR, and various other patches that you can enable and disable. From this new menu, that's gonna be added to the open source versions of HEN. So you have good options to just jailbreak the console. Using these open source versions. And then of course, Golden will eventually get support for your firmware. And then you can switch over to that if you want to. Once it becomes available, definitely better doing that than updating to 12.02. Which could end up patching some future future exploit, like a future WebKit exploit that you could have so used. So definitely better to stay on as low a firmware as possible. And you can still possible. jailbreak using the open source version of And then update Hen. to gold. And once it becomes available for your firmware. So yeah, anyway, just wanted to give a quick kind of update on that. We've got Goldhen up and running. Now that Goldhen is available, I'll be creating a full beginner's guide on how to jailbreak the PS4. From start to finish with all the necessary info in there. It'll probably be quite a long because video. Because of everything that needs to be covered there. But obviously, that will be coming out fairly soon in the next day so or anyway. two. So anyway, you guys enjoyed this video or found the if information you did, please useful. please leave a like and subscribe.